Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at getting the RDOP C modem running on the Pi, and let's create a script to make life a little bit easier. Even if you've seen the original series that I did on this, you'll want to watch this one, as it's got a lot of new information. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Now, I'm using the Signalink uh, sound card today. This should work fine with the Signalink uh, with some generic USB uh, cards uh, th with uh, the Wolfie Link. Uh, so there's a host of them out there. Now, if you're running something like the Draws Hat, I've actually done another video on how to get this working with the Draws Hat. I'll leave a link to that right up at the top. But the first thing we need to do is type A record dash L and we'll go ahead and hit return you'll see this right here USB audio codec this is my signal link and the information we really are interested in here is this card one device zero we'll need that information shortly so file that away for just a minute so we've moved over to John Wiseman's uh, downloads page and I'll leave a link to this down in the description below uh, once you get to this page, we're going to scroll down close to the bottom, and we're looking for Pi RDOP C. Now, I'm not sure what's going on right now with Pi RDOP 2. I know they had some uh, some sort of issue with it, uh, so currently I don't think that that's uh, in production right now. But we can just grab the Pi RDOP C right here. We'll right click on that and copy the link location. Back on the Pi. Let's go ahead and make a new directory with mkdir space rdop. And let's change to that directory with cd space rdop. Once we're in the rdop folder that we just created, let's use our wget command again. Right click and paste in the link that we got off of John's website. Let's go ahead and press return. And we've got that downloaded. Let's clear the screen. And I'm going to run the list command again. And you can see it there. Now, we do need to make that file executable. So let's run sudo chmod plus x pi, pi rdopc. Press return. And if we run the uh, ls command again, you'll see that it's now in green, indicating that it's executable. Okay, now we can go ahead and start the Pi RDOPC modem. So we will use dot forward slash Pi RDOPC space 8515. And that is just a port number that we'll use to communicate. We'll give it another space. We'll say plug HW colon 1 comma 0. Now this 1 comma 0 comes from our a record dash l command that we ran earlier. So the one is the card number and the zero is the device number. We'll give it a space and we're going to repeat that information again. So plug hw colon one comma zero again. We'll go ahead and hit return. Give that just a couple of seconds. You'll notice that it says rdopc is listening on port 8515. So that's the way Pat is going to communicate with it. Now let's go ahead and try to make our first connection. But hey, we need to find a station to connect to. So let's head over to winlink.org. Once you're on the winlink.org website, I'm going to click on Tools. And I'm going to tell it that it can use my location. Uh, once we see the map here, let's select RDOP right here. And that'll filter out all the stations except the RDOP stations. And I typically have pretty good luck connecting to K0SI, but let's do it on 40 meters. So the frequency we need to connect to is 7103.5. Uh, now we've got to subtract 1.5 kilohertz from this. So the actual dial frequency on the radio is 7102. So I don't have rig control running on this yet. So I'm just spinning the radio dial to 7102. And then we need to remember K0SI. All right, but head back to the Pi. 
and we'll click action and connect. Right here in our transport, we're going to choose RDOP. We're going to enter the call sign K0SI. And that's the only thing. We're not going to mess with the frequency right here or radio only. This is the only two bits of information we're going to use. And let's go ahead and press the connect button. Now, once you do that, you can watch down here in this black box to see if the connection is made. And if you're a little bit more inquisitive, you can actually watch uh, the terminal window where you started the Pi RDOPC modem. Back over here in the PAT mailbox, you can see that we've started connecting to that station in Missouri. Okay, and once your connection finishes up, uh, back in the RDOPC window where you started the R, uh, Pi RDOPC modem, let's press Control C to go ahead and terminate the modem. Let's make it a little bit easier to start the RDOP modem. So first, let's move into the RDOP directory with CD space RDOP. And then let's say nano, N-A-N-O, and let's say start dash RDOP. All right, and it's going to tell you right down here at the bottom, you're in a new file. What we're going to do is we're going to create a script really fast so that we can put a icon on our desktop that we can just double click. So we'll use pound exclamation point forward slash bin forward slash bash. And all that does is that tells uh, the system that this is a bash script when we try to run it. But we have to have that line in order for things to work correctly. And then I'm going to leave a comment up top. Start RDOP modem. And then, because I do it every time, I'm going to date this. And put my call sign. Well, if I can get anything right today. All right, now we'll give it a couple of blank lines and let's go ahead and type out the path to our file. So forward slash home, forward slash, this, uh, this line here after this forward slash will be your Linux username. Remember, in my case, I'm still at the default pi, but if you've changed it, you'll need to change it here as well. And then we're, uh, this is going to be in the RDOP directory that we created. We'll give it one more forward slash. And then we're going to paste in that command that starts our RDOP modem. So the PI RDOPC 8515 plug colon uh, or plug HW colon one comma zero and repeat that again. Out our RDOP directory again, you'll see this new file that we created. We do need to make that executable. So we'll use sudo chmod plus x start rdop. Hit the ls one more time and that will show us that this is in green and it is now executable. Now we just need to place a link to this script on our desktop. So to create the sim link and place it on our desktop, we're going to use ln or lima november dash s we need the path to the file so we'll use tilde forward slash rdop forward slash start dash rdop and then we need to tell it where we want the sim link created so in this case we'll use tilde and you notice i do have a space right here tilde forward slash desktop forward slash start dash RDOP. We'll go ahead and hit return and you'll notice that that new link popped up over here on our desktop. So let's go ahead and close this out. Now when we're ready to make an HF connection with PAT, we've already got PAT started and running in the background. Uh, we did that with the system services file. Now all we have to do is double click on this icon that we created and click execute in terminal. It'll go ahead and open the window 
and you'll see that RDOP is now listening on port 8515. At this point, we can go ahead and go back to the PAT window. Let me click my refresh button here. And you can see that we're up and ready to make a connection. Now we can just go ahead and start with our new connection. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off, and we will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.